have you ever heard the saying, all dreams have meanings? Now, some of you may be thinking, dreams don't have meanings. Because some dreams are just freaking weird. Other dreams are just, I don't even know what's going on. And some dreams are scary. Like, what does your brain even think about when you're laying in bed at night? Or is it your brain? Or are you just going to a different dimension? This is my theory about dreaming. Now, obviously, this is just a theory and I'm not sure if it's real. But, um, yeah, this is just my theory, my personal theory. Oh yeah, anyways, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe before we get into this banger video be so you don't miss out on more theory videos that I might possibly make in the future. Let's go! The first thing we're going to talk about is our imperfections in dreams. So say I had a dream about me walking around in my house. Now in real life, your house is your house. It looks like your house. But in your dream, your house might have a little bit of imperfections. Like, there might be some rooms that are in different places. Like, say the storage room of your house was your parents' room. Or the kitchen was downstairs instead of upstairs. You know what I mean? Tiny imperfections. Say, and say you're... Now, sometimes I've had dreams where I've been in my neighborhood. And my neighborhood is the exact same but my house is completely different or it's the other way around my house is normal with a couple imperfections but my neighborhood is a completely different thing now the first thing that i want to talk about is this video right here as you can see it seems like a normal video of a zoom out of earth all the way to the universe but as you know this is just like normal like this is our universe but the things start to get weird when we get to the multiverse so as you can see showing our galaxy right now then it goes to the d galaxy the andromeda then it goes to the i don't even know what this is the cosmic web i think but then as you can see it goes to our universe but right here this is where my theory starts to kick in one of the neighboring universes on the bottom right of the screen looks almost identical to our universe. But you know how I said earlier that all of our dreams have imperfections? Notice how our universe looks like our universe. But that universe looks like our universe, except it has a couple imperfections. So what I'm saying is, what if when you go to bed, your soul gets sucked out of your body and travels to the other universe aka the one that i just showed and w and that universe is what we are gonna call dreamland now there's actually another universe that look that's right next to our universe which looks like a blue and red kind of fireball this fireball is what i assume is nightmare land Nightmare Land is pretty much Dreamland, except instead of dreams, it's only scary nightmares. But the thing that's really creepy about Nightmare Land is that when you invert the colors, it kind of looks like our universe. And if you were to invert the colors of a normal image, then that image would kind of look like you're in hell. I mean, look at the sky. It's orange, and the grass is, like, purple, and, like, the pavement is, like, black, and the sun, like, it's not in view here, but the sun is black. It's just weird. See, when you invert colors, you're flipping them to the opposite side of the color wheel. And when you invert our universe, you're flipping you're flipping the colors, but you're not just flipping the colors, you're flipping the entire universe, meaning that all of the good, nice things are flipped, and that means that that universe is holding all of the bad nightmares. Now we're going to talk about liminal spaces. So if you've seen the videos online, or just 
seen pictures of liminal spaces, and if you don't know what a liminal space is, just Google it, because I'm too lazy to explain it in this video. Basically, when you look at liminal spaces, you kind of get the vibe that you've been there before, or you've seen it in your dreams. Now, if you look at this, this liminal space here, this is the original photo taken of the liminal space, and this is the one taken in real life. Notice the imperfections. Like I said, the imperfections in our dreams. And with this, I'm led to believe that this photo was somehow taken in dreamland. And the real life photo is the actual photo. Well, dreamland obviously is a lot different because like I said, in your dreams, you have a lot of imperfections. If you know what liminal spaces are, you should probably know what the back rooms are. And if you don't know what the back rooms are, I'm gonna have you Google it. But anyways, the back rooms, most of the places in the back rooms look like they're from the your dreams. Now, if you look at this video, this guy falls through the floor and no clips into the weird yellowish rooms. Now, when he does this, you can see the camera clip and make like a really weird staticky sound. Now, this static sound is obviously the mic picking up something, but they don't know what. What if when he fell through the floor, the camera picked up the sound of him traveling to dreamland? What if he actually didn't go to another reality? What if he went to dreamland? I've had dreams where my friends are in it and sometimes my crush is in it and um yeah guys don't be going in the comments saying oh my god parker you have a crush on somebody yes i do and i'm not telling you who it is but um basically when you dream about them do they go to dreamland with you or does dreamland just kind of make a version of your friends that looks almost identical with the imperfections now obviously you have about three to four dreams every night and your friends also have three to four dreams every night so you never know if they actually went to dreamland with you now if you didn't know yes we have three to four dreams every night but you can't remember 90 percent of them that's why sometimes you don't dream which leads me to believe that if you have a dream with your friends or your crush or somebody like that, then you might actually be going to dreamland with them. They might have experienced the same dream except from their POV, except they just don't remember it because you can't remember 90% of your dreams. Anyways guys, that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And also hit the bell and share this with your friends, family. Um, so yeah, um, tell me if you want me to make more theory videos. This is my first theory video. And honestly, even to me, it sounds pretty interesting. Now obviously, this is a theory. Obviously, it's probably not like actually real, but... It is a theory, and you never know if it could be real. But anyways, see you later. Peace.